If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we have all the wildcard Wednesday flashback reveals as well as some most feared news slash a flashback reveal for most feared. So I'm super excited to get into all this. Flashbacks are looking good this year, as we've known, right? It's not like the past years where we heard flashbacks, we were wildcard Wednesday, and we're like, ah, oh, this, is, this is garbage. It's like, Flashbacks in the last two to three years have just been such a waste of content that we actually didn't even care for them in the game anymore. Sometimes it wasn't even worth making a video on it because no one even cared about it. But this year, flashbacks are good. They're using good names combined with good stats and good overalls, which is the key part too. Because I hate when they give us like 80 overall flashbacks and we already have 94 overall cards. It's like, those don't help us. Like, no one's going to actually... like. 90% of the community probably has a competitive team, right? Not like competitive in that sense, but they're not going to be go looking for players from back for bad cards that aren't even matching up to overall, right? Nonetheless, guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up. If you need coins, pick up any of these players. Don't forget, my sponsor has some of the cheapest and the cheapest coins on the internet. Make sure to use code Poodle at checkout to make sure you get it discounted as well. So let's start with AJ Green, who we went over yesterday. So we had AJ Green, 91 speed, 91 jumping, 89 catching. 88 catch and traffic, 91 spec, 88 short, 89 medium, and 92 deep. Now, think what Green is. He's tall. He's like six foot three or six foot four, right? So that's a height advantage on next gen. You know that's always been a big advantage uh, in terms of how the next gen engine plays. He's going to have a 90 medium, above 90 medium route running and above 92 deep route running, which is important because that means he will be threshold. He will meet the threshold for deep and medium route running, as well as catching and spec and jumping, which means that he's going to be a, pr a pretty elite route runner. Now the short will fall one short but if you do get a strategy card in him that doesn't increase his short out running that actually will go a long way making him a pretty elite receiver next we have deshaun jackson the typical fan favorite of just about everyone here's the key thing to note is that he has an 89 deep route running which does mean some good things which i'll get into in a second so by the way overall wise aj green's a 91 deshaun's a 90 92 speed 82 jumping 87 catching 87 catch in traffic 90 spec 86 short 87 medium 89 deep you look close you can tell exactly what Deshaun Jackson is going to be. He's going to be that deep post, deep cross. So he's going to be that deep guy, right? Because powered up, he'll have a 90 deep route running, which means he will be threshold there with a 93 speed. And the spec catch is actually really good too. He's going to be a pretty elite deep threat. He's not going to be the best at, you know, like ins, out, slants, you know, but he can run every route. It's just he's not going to be elite at them. He will be an elite deep route runner though, which is really good for a lot of teams. Now, in terms of theme teams, he has the Washington football team. He has uh, the Rams, I believe. He has the Eagles. He has, he has more, right? I can't remember how, but he has a lot of theme teams, right? In terms of who you could put him on. So that's pretty good as well, considering it's a year of theme team Madden, right? Justin Houston, outside linebacker for the Chiefs. Now, he also does get a lot of theme teams as well. No, maybe not a lot, but he gets Colts, Ravens, and Chiefs. I know for pretty much a fact, right? 85 speed, 88 excel for a Justin Houston card. That's actually really good because typically they don't, they don't, they kind of screw him with speed as of late. 84 strength, 84 tackle, 87 play rack, 90 block shed, 89 power move, 83 finesse move. This is a really good card because powered up, he will have a 90 power move as well as a 91 block shed, which means he will be a threshold run stuffer as well as a threshold pass rusher. And he also gets 86 speed and 89 excel, and it's Justin Houston. That's a pretty big name, right? Maybe not if you're, if you're more of a new football guy, like as of late, he might not be a big name, but he always has been prior. So, exciting card pretty big name great stats because he's again all i care about so much, so much is like is thresholds right because at the end of the day if they can hit those thresholds at 90 thresholds but then a new aaron donald comes out with 93 and 93 pass rush and 93 block shed right yeah he's three less justin houston's three less but they're both above 90 and justin houston is faster so you may be able to get away with the justin houston on your team and not notice the biggest drop off or as much as you think you might be noticing right Next, we have Carson Wentz on the Eagles. Much better look than him on the Colts. I really don't I don't like him in a Colts uni like that. This is a nice uh, throwback to Wentz. You know, 2017 days, 2018 days. Speed, 79 speed. That's actually not bad for him. Uh, 90 throw power, 88 short, 87 medium accuracy, 89 deep, 87 throw under pressure, 85 throw on the run, 87 play action. I always hate cards like this, right? Why make a 90 overall card that has one stat at 90 overall? If people understand how averages work, right? If you were to get like on a test, you got 190 and the rest were all mid 80s, you wouldn't have a 90 average. You'd have a mid to high 80 average at best. You wouldn't have a 91, right? But I, get, I know there's like, he has like probably, um, you know, catching and awareness all the way up and that's what gets him up. But going to only get the deep accuracy threshold. Pretty much not going to be great at anything else. So throw power is not bad. Uh, Eagles team team perhaps, but of course you have, there's Vic in the game. So I really don't see the need for that. 
Colts team team will probably be your best bet in terms of the best quarterback for the Colts until we get a pay to Manning or luck. But Carson Wentz, you know, he's not horrible, but I don't like him. Kyle Van Noy, I believe this is an end or it could be another outside linebacker. I forget what his position he plays, but he does get 85 speed, 89 excel. That's actually really good. Again, 86 speed, 90 excel powered up. He gets 80 strength, 87 tackle, 88 play rec, 88 block, 88 power move, and nine, uh, 65 finesse move. Here's the problem with Van Noy. Powered up, he'll get an 89 block, 89 power move, which means he will fall one short of both thresholds, makes him not that good, as well as the fact that his speed's good, but without that and the low strength, you're going to kind of see that he's not going to be the most meta type card that you're going to really want here. Does get Patriots team team. I don't know where else. He might have always been a Patriot. I don't really remember. I don't really keep up with all these, uh, these guys like this, but... Again, I'm not a fan. I mean, at best, you're get, at best, you're getting theme team usage. I don't think he's going to be a guy that you're picking up for your typical squad. Because like I said, like Justin Houston gets the uh, he gets the thresholds here, right? He's going to get 90 blocks and 90 power move with the same speed, right? Overall, you guys did just see a little early reveal of, uh, of the most feared player, which I'll get to in a second. But yeah, like I said, see, speed's almost identical. The different Excel obviously is what I'm counting in there, but the blockchain and power are going to go a long way as well as he gets the 84 strength, which is slightly better. And a few other things, but guys, finally, for the most feared reveal, we have Calvin Ridley. This is one that's going to be part of most feared release, too. So expect a lot more players to be coming uh, with most feared um, release, too. Now, this card art again, super cool. The card art for most fear has been really cool in general, this entire promo. But we still have pro, we have release two, we also have release three. We we'll probably have a bunch of LTDs in between, right? So Calvin Ridley, route runner archetype, wide receiver, 91 speed. So the speed's good. 84 jumping, 88 catching, 86 catching traffic, 82 spec catch, 88 short, 87 medium, 88 deep. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This card's an L. This card's a massive L. What were they thinking? How do you make a route runner receiver that can't get any of the elite route running, you know, thresholds? At least give him the deep, right? Here's my problem. He's not going to get a single stat above 90 catching wise. He's not going to get a single stat above 90 route running wise. And his speed is average 91 speeds average right now right like you want the 93 94 so like 91 speeds like kind of where everyone's kind of falling into i think the flashback to sean jackson was better than this yeah flashback to sean jackson was better and had better catching and better route running cards kind of a no i wouldn't recommend picking him up if you can get your free one you can get your hands on a free one for your falcon steam team guys that is an option if you get if you get a free one and you like calvin ridley or you want a falcon steam team type guy now that's that's gonna be good it'll be good in the theme team um of course so if you have a falcon steam team for whatever reason you do there you go. It's not the worst theme team. You know, you get Vic, you get Ridley, you get Julio, you get Pitts. Not a bad theme team, right? But that's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video. If you aren't to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always, guys. And comment down below. Let me know who your favorite flashback is. Personally, I really like this Deshaun Jackson card as well as the AJ Green card. I think they're both good. I mean, it, better routes from AJ Green. Uh, better deep threat from, AJ, uh, what's it called? From Deshaun Jackson. And then, of course, guys, I mean, the, the Justin Houston card was really good, too. I mean, I don't think he's bad at all. But that's about it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys need coins to pick up any of these cards, head them down below to my sponsor. Don't miss out. Super cheap coins. Make sure to use my code as well. And, yeah, going to be a fun week, guys. We have release two coming up. We'll have release three. This goes all the way pretty much to Halloween, as you guys typically do know. So, that is what it is on that front. Comment down below again. Let me know your favorite flashback. Like I said, mine is Deshaun and uh, Justin Houston. Although, all, all together, flashbacks have just been much better this year. And make sure you're keeping up with your solos because, of course, you don't want to miss out and actually not go ahead and get your flashbacks, right? You get your free players that you will get every four to five weeks, right? Depending on how often you actually play your solos. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.